Hey guys, this is Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and today we're going to be going over UV mapping the head. I've already UV mapped the torso, the legs, and the arms, so now I'm going to go ahead and tackle the face. Uh, the neck is actually the easiest one. We're just going to go ahead and do a cylindrical map. Again, I like to actually uh, UV map on the left side and having my UV texture editor on the right. I'm going to go ahead and tweak it so that the grid looks like a square. I don't want any stretched textures. I always change to grayscale because it's a lot easier to see the face when I'm working on UV mapping. The next part is going to be the ear. It's a little complicated to select the ear, so just kind of keep an eye out. It has a lot of geometry and it's really important that you capture as much as you can. Sometimes going into wireframe helps to see if you have uh, the ear. Um, I believe that planar mapping is actually the best way to UV map. So I actually projected it based on the camera, not, not X, Y, or Z, but based on the camera. And now I have the ear UV mapped. The next thing we're going to do is UV map the face. Let's go ahead and go to face and select all of the head. Please ignore the neck as well as the ear. And uh, don't forget you can actually use the UV texture editor to deselect your ear. Um, I obviously have not UV mapped the right ear or the right ear of the character, so I'm going to go ahead and start deselecting the faces of the ear. Again, the ear is very complicated, so just make sure that you uh, are deselecting all of the pieces of the ear or as best as you can. Next, we're going to go ahead and cylindrical map our head, and then we'll stretch it out. Move it to the side so we can be uh, we can tweak it a little bit. I like to uh, I like the way the grid is looking, but the eyes always need some TLC. So I go ahead and relax and unfold one of the eyes. I'm also doing the same thing for the chin. Let's go ahead and unfold and relax. And sometimes you just have to manually select UVs so that uh, they fall where you want them to fall. There's also uh, sometimes there's UVs wandering off into the distance. Again, you can just kind of tweak them yourself and just grab them and drag them in and uh, make sure that they're actually somewhere near the location of the head. The lips are are pretty simple to do. The, the most important part is actually to uh, select the inner faces so that you can separate the inside of the mouth from the lips. Uh, the inside of the mouth doesn't usually require too much detail when it comes to um, texturing, so therefore I go ahead and separate them. After that, I grab the UVs of the, um, the actual lips themselves and then unfold and try to relax. A lot of times you actually do have to kind of take them and just manually bring them down. Again, what I'm trying to do is just make sure that there's no overlapping UVs. That's one of the big no-nos when it comes to texturing. You don't want to uh, put a texture and then it repeats itself somewhere that you don't want it to. So the edges of the mouth, I'm again trying to avoid overlapping and I'm just moving them and tweaking them one by one so that uh, there's very little room around the mouth area. So for me, it's just trying to get them in there and make sure that they can fit. So if I texture it, I'm not going to get it. I'm going to get predictable results. As for the top, top of the lip, you can unfold. Make sure you select all the UVs and not just some of them. And then again, you want to unfold. The nose is similar as well. We're going to go ahead and uh, select the nose and unfold until you get relax if it doesn't work and then unfold again. It's kind of like you, you kind of tweak it a little bit. So I'm basically just doing the character's left side, my right side, UVs, because what I'm going to do is actually flip the UVs to the other side. The next tutorial is to take all of our elements and clean up the UVs and put it all together into one UV snapshot. Hopefully that was helpful and I will see you next time.